So I'm gonna do a little video on how to map out the factory navigation using the Tesla stock. So. For those of you that have your uh, CCS to NAX adapter where you can use Tesla locations, the first step on a long road trip for me is to go to a better route planner and map out that trip. It takes about five to 10 minutes to go into a better route planner and map out that trip. Let's jump right in. We're gonna get to a better route planner first and we're gonna show you how to map out a trip. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open a better route planner. And in a better route planner is a couple settings that you need to set up before you start planning out your trip. So click these top through this three bars in the top right hand corner. There's about four settings that you need to change that are, are required in here. Um, I'm going to click few but long because I want to have the few amount of charging stops as I can. Uh, we're going to set it at 2.2 mile per kilowatt hour. That is what our truck can do at 70 miles an hour on a good day. If it's less, you can adjust this down. If it's more, you can adjust it up. Um, the biggest way to be able to understand your range. Um, which references into this consumption is we're going to open up a calculator and do a little bit of math just to understand it to begin with. On an extended range lightning, it's 131 kilowatt battery. It's 98 kilowatt on a standard range. For purposes of this video, we're going to use the extended range version. Take that times the 2.2 mile per kilowatt hour, and you should have a total theoretical range of 288 miles. But you don't run 288 miles and run the battery all the way from zero to from 100 down to 0%. You want to arrive at the charger with 5% battery at a minimum, and you don't want to charge past 80% on subsequent charges. So if you take that times 0 0.75, 131 times 2.2 times 0 0.75, it gets you about a 216 mile range between fast charging stops. Now the initial charging stop, you do 131 times 0 0.95, uh, times 2.2. So you should have about a 270 mile range from that initial run. So your first run can be quite a bit more because you've charged at home overnight to 100%. So now that we understand the range of our truck, um, it's 200 miles roughly per charges and about 275 on that initial run. We'll go back over here. We leave it 2.2, chargers and network. We want to do avoid and prefer. You want to type in the word Tesla and then it'll pop up here. So let's let's get rid of this and I'll show you. Type in Tesla and you double and you check this double thumbs up. That's going to make this where this is a, a, a preferred network. Uh, then click on battery and destination arrival. I always like to arrive with 50% so that we have enough charge to get back home to that next first charging stop. Charger arrival is, nine, is 5%. I don't like to charge over 90 on the road. 80 to 90 slows down, but 90 to 100 really slows down. Um, vehicle speed, I have it set to 80 or mile per hour and 105%. So it'll, it'll use a little more energy, but you'll get there faster. Now that we have our settings set up, we're going to go to my position. We're going to click home, or you can type in your home address if it's not set up. And the end of your trip, we're just going to type in Atlanta for the purposes of this trip. We're going to use Atlanta, Georgia, because it's about a five or six stop charge. Then just hit plan. Um, if you move over here to Google, you will see we've already done a Google from home to Atlanta, and we kind of picked this route down through Fort Smith, down through Memphis, uh, I'm sorry, down through uh, Little Rock, through Memphis, and then down to Birmingham and over. So this is a pretty good route going from our route. Now, you'll want to pick your route, kind of plan it out. Every route's going to be a little different depending on how you want to drive. Say if you're going from Louisville and you're going to Kansas City, or if you're over here on the East Coast, you're in Philadelphia and you're driving down here to Charleston, pick out your route and map it out and then make your a better route planner match that. So we're going to keep this up kind of as a reference. Now, another thing while that's planning that out, we go over here to the Tesla site. You type in tesla.com. You click on charging. You click on find on superchargers. And that's going to bring open a map of all the charging stops uh, in, the, in the U.S. for uh, Tesla. So what you'll want to do is, is you want to get rid of the stores and galleries, service, superchargers, and body shops, as well as destination, service, and deliveries. These two are the adapters and Magic Dock superchargers. So I'm going to kind of take my, my, my map that I had over here from Google and start, and start kind of overlaying this on my Tesla to see if there's any Tesla superchargers along that route. Um, you can do that just kind of as a gut check. Or you can go back to a better route planner and just look and see what it did. And, and looking at this, um, 
it, it has actually already mapped us out to stop at what I believe is the appropriate stops to get here. It's five charges. It's about three hours worth of, worth of charging on an 850 mile trip. So really not bad at all. So if you need to move chargers around or what, say you want to stop at a different one, you can zoom in on the map and it will show you. So there's a Tesla supercharger here in Fort Smith. If you decide you want to stop early, you could click that and then you could click navigate at its waypoint. I'm not going to do that because we're good with the route that it's given us, but that's, that's how you would go in and add those charging stops. Um, so this is, you get this mapped out first in, in a better route planner. So we have five charging stops. They're all Tesla stops. And then we'll take this information, these five stops, and we'll go to the truck and we'll get in the Ford navigation. And I'll show you how to add those charging stops into the truck. The first thing you want to do is click on where to. You're going to do my trips. You can just hit plus to create a new trip and then you can start adding your destinations. So for us, that's what we're going to do because we've already had it mapped out from a better route planner. So we're just going to type in Atlanta, Georgia, and let this calculate Atlanta. So we're just going to click, that's close enough for us. We're not looking at any specifics on this one, just somewhere in Atlanta. Hit select. The best way to do this is just, just hit go to begin with. And don't worry about it. It's going to ask you if you want to add charging for the trip. If you hit automatically, it's going to tell it, it's going to put it wherever you want. So don't do that. Just hit close. It's going to start the navigation. Then go back into details. And now we need to go ahead and edit this trip, the little pencil on the top right. And we're going to start adding destinations. There's two ways to add destinations. You can start at the end and work your way backwards from the a Better Route Planner plan. Or you can start at your front and work forward. And then you'll have to reorganize those. And it's very simple to do. So uh, at the moment, it's trying to take us over this direction. We want to come down here. So we're going to add a destination to begin with. And we're just going to type in uh, Tesla near and see if it comes up. We know our first stop is in Ozark, so we're Tesla near Ozark, and we're going to see if that populates a supercharger near Ozark. And if it says no, it's because it's not along our active route, and that's what we have planned out. So no results found. So now what we need to do is come up here to the top right. So if you do another location, you click cities, and then you type in the city that you're going to charge near, and all you have to do is type in a few key letters of that first, and it will populate the city so it's Ozark Arkansas hit select now it's looking around if we go back in here it's going looking around Ozark Arkansas and it should populate there it is so we now we have Tesla near so what you need to do is first you need to look at the city that you're going to go to and then type it in so Tesla near Ozark Arkansas we're going to hit select and now our route is starting to look like what we want it to down through Memphis down through Leeds so now it should be pretty straightforward as to just add in superchargers as you go because the route looks like you want it to look. Um, you're going to have to pay attention to if that route is close to where you want. If you're starting to add these superchargers and it's not finding them along your active route, then that means that your active route is not, there's not a supercharger along it. So for now, I'm going to hit go. It's going to recalculate telling me I need to add chargers. Once again, I'm going to hit close. I'm going to ignore that warning because we're going to manually add those. We're going to hit close and we're going to hit details. So now we have 118 miles. That's less than our 235. Now we need to start adding stops along the way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit this trip, top right corner pencil. And we'll just start typing in and adding these stops as we go. Add destinations. First thing we're going to do is click my active route because it's going to be along the route that is currently active. That's why we started the navigation to Atlanta to begin with. Now we just type in our superchargers. Now we'll do Tesla near Brinkley. That's our second stop. Hit select. Now Brinkley is obviously not our first stop, so when you touch and hold, Drag that down to our second one, and then we'll hit Add Destinations. Our third stop is South Haven, so we're going to do Tesla near South Haven, and once again, that'll pop up. If this happens when you're when you're if you type in Tesla near, let's do it one more time. South Haven 
and it doesn't come up and doesn't recognize it, that means it's not directly on your route. There's there's some settings in the Ford that has to be on the route within so many miles of the route. So what we we'll, what we will do is we'll back this out. We'll go up here to this uh, and we'll do another location. We'll go back to cities and we'll type in South Haven. And then that's going to pull up South Haven. Uh, we want South Haven. I think that's Mississippi. Right there. Hit select. Now we can do Tesla near South Haven. And it will come right up. Tesla Burger King, South Haven. Select, and again, it's going to come up first. We want it to be our third one, so drag it down to the bottom one. Now they're starting to add up in order. So our next stop, add load destinations. Um, we're going to do a long active, my active route now because it should be able to come right up. Tesla near Leeds, because that was our third stop. Tesla near Leeds. Is that the Bucky's? We'll click it, we'll click it, we'll drag it down to the very last one, and we're going to add one more stop at Douglasville. And you can only do six, six stops at a day, so this is going to be our last stop, and it should tell us that. So we're still along Acura Route, so we're going to do Tesla near Douglasville. And it might not. Sometimes they're not right on your active route within so many miles. And it didn't. So now we're going to back out of here. We're going to go another location. Cities. And type in Douglasville. Douglasville, Georgia. And GA. Douglasville, Georgia. Select. Now we've selected our city. Now we can look at Tesla near Douglasville. Okay, so we Tesla near Douglasville, because we have Douglasville as our city. That'll come up and show us the Tesla supercharger in Douglasville. And sometimes the Ford navigation does not, even the Ford navigation does not pick these up. And then you have to do something different to go. So it's still not wanting to pick up that Tesla one there. So the other way to do that is to actually go in and set it as an address. And it's 2950 Chapel Hill Road. So we're just going to program in 2950 Chapel Hill Road as our last stop. And then that should allow us to have the whole trip planned out using Tesla superchargers. So we're at a destination. We're going to do 2950 Chapel Hill Road. And if it doesn't bring that up, yeah, right there. This is the, de this is the Tesla supercharger. So we'll click that. Click that, maximum number of destinations is reached, which we're okay with. Now you can understand why if you start at the last and work your way back forward, you don't have to keep dragging these down. But either way works. Now when you hit go this time, you actually have all your charging stops programmed, but the truck doesn't recognize these as charging stops. Until the Ford navigation is loaded with these stops, it will not recognize them as charging stops in the navigation. It will, however, recognize these as charging stops at the Tesla supercharger or at the, in the main heads up display. So here in a second, I'll show you what the heads up display looks like. It's going to obviously tell us that we need to add charging stops to the, to the trip. It's calculating that out right now. We're just going to hit ignore and we're going to look at our details of this trip. So to get to this screen, when you're not in the main, you click on this little wrench icon down here, you click on trip overview, and then you click details. So if you'll look at this, when you, when you do one of these trips that is automatically charging, it'll say you're going to arrive with 4%. It'll tell you to charge to a percentage to get to the next one with a certain percent. And I will do a trip here in a second that shows what it looks like when they're automatic. But these are all going to show zero at this point. However, when you look over here at the heads-up display, it shows 231 miles of range. That's the top number with the little battery symbol next to it. And the 219 miles is the the distance to the next charger that's the little charger symbol next to it so what we're going to do next is we're going to hit the x to close out of that trip overview we are actually wanting to save this trip so if you want to save this trip you can just go in and edit the trip to edit the trip 
you click trip overview, you click details. So if you want to save this in the truck, just hit save. And then you can type in uh, whatever name you want. We're just going to call it Atlanta and hit save. So that name's already in use. So now we're going to hit Atlanta 1, hit save. Now that's saved. Now I can completely get out of this entire navigation and I don't have to worry that I lost everything that I just did. I click on where to, I click on my trips. Here's Atlanta one. So in order to get rid of some of these, I'm going to click on this. I don't want all these. I don't want Atlanta. I don't need these other trips that I was using anymore. And we hit delete. Now everything's gone, but that one. That. Now we're going to show you what it looks like if you just type in, uh, let's just do recent since we've already typed in Atlanta. Hit Atlanta, Georgia. Just hit go. Now we're going to let it automatically calculate this trip. And it'll sh I'll show you what these will look like. So we hit automatic. Chargers are being added to the trip. Okay, so it's, it's, it's saying we need six chargers on this one. So let's take a look at these and see if we like this. This is why I don't use the automatic. First thing it's telling us to do is all the way up here up north to a Casey's General Store. We wanted to come, we wanted to come way down here to the Ozark one, it's gone, it's going way up north and across this way. 13 to 82% is an hour. And this one is trying to take you to Bud Shell Ford. Well, it says it's an hour and 50 minutes. That means from 10 to 19%. That means that's a level two charger. That's not really a fast charger. Homer Ford, eight hours with a charging. Sonic drive-in, nine hours and 50 minutes. Come on, Ford. But the point to show you this was it'll show you you need to be here from 13 to 82 and then you're going to be here from 10 to 19, 10 to 64. These are the things that won't show up when you're doing the Tesla trip. But it does still show up over here as there's the distance of range and how much you're going to have to the next charger. So you can click this button here and it'll show you all of your, your trip and it'll show you your stop. So each one of these flags is each one of the stops that we had pre-programmed in. In order to, if you want to zoom around on your screen ever, like you want to zoom in, you want to see about where you're stopping, uh, so if you want to look at this Tesla stop and kind of kind of look at it, there's not a, it doesn't pop up and give you any sort of a satellite view. You just, you can zoom around, move around and just click this, this, this car with the uh, button and it'll redo the navigation. That's how you program Tesla stops in your Ford navigation and your Ford Lightning should be very similar on the Mach-E. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below or you can uh, get a hold of me on Facebook, Martin Rebuilds. Or Thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe if you like this video or if you want to see some more detail on other videos. Have a good day.